but I got cheeks, okay? I got I got gains back there and I can't be wearing thongs because they get lost. <laughs> We all know that summer is fast approaching and I want to make sure that my feminine hygiene is on point. So if you are interested in hearing some of my tips and tricks that keep me smelling good and feeling fresh all summer long, keep watching. Over the years, I have curated a perfect routine which has definitely worked for myself and I decided that I wanted to show you guys today. So of course, we're gonna go in order and the first step is in the shower. That is where you are going to start to make sure that you are smelling right, okay? If you guys have been here long enough, you know that I have mentioned this intimate wash a bunch of times, but it's the Monistat Feminine Cleanser with boric acid. And this, you guys, is top notch. What I really like is that it has boric acid in it, which is gonna help with discharge, random odors, and just making you feel secure that you can go all day with sweating and everything else that goes down in the DM, <laughs> that goes down in that area. You can feel super secure with Monistat in the summertime, especially for my girls like myself who do not go and get Brazilian waxes or get it all waxed off. I just like to keep my grass real, real low. So this is just going to help secure the bag <laughs> and make sure that your intimate area is nice, fresh, and you can drop it like it's hot and you feel good about it, okay? And this is definitely pH balanced. I haven't had any irritation and I get mine from Target. And then the next intimate wash that I really, really like, it's a little more pricey, but hey, it works, it smells great, and I have not had any bad effects from it, and it's Truly's Kuka Wash, which I have definitely showed you guys, but what I truly like about this one, they call it Kuka, don't ask me why they call it that, but it's a line that Truly has, and they have a body oil as well, and then they have an, um, like a more concentrated version of the body oil. And what it's supposed to be for is it's supposed to just get any um, bacteria that you may have where like you have pubic hair under your arms or your intimate area. This is pH balanced, so you don't have to worry about irritation since you know it is universal. You can use it under your arms or in your intimate, on your intimate area. But I really like this because it's also a good aftershave care because I know for the summertime, I like to shave my bikini area and this is great just to also make sure that you're not getting any bacteria in your pores from shaving. And this is just gonna prevent ingrown hairs. There's just a bunch of benefits from using this besides smelling fresh, feeling fresh. It also just helps your bikini line area look great after shaving. So I would highly recommend this. It's pricey, but it's definitely worth it. Next one, you guys have probably seen this a lot or heard a lot of other girls talk about it and guys as well. Guys, come on in. But it's Lumi's All Over Body Deodorant. Really like this one. I started using this about two years ago. They have lotions, they have deodorants, they have body wash. Their body wash is amazing as well. But girl, in the summer, I'm sweating. I'm sweating in between my thighs. Anywhere where I can sweat, I'm sweating. And what I really like about this deodorant is it's all is for all over your body and it really works. It stops the sweat and the odor. If you wanted to go 72 hours without a shower, wouldn't recommend. <laughs> but if you wanted to go 72 hours without a shower, this is the only product that I can vouch for that you can do that with because you are going to be smelling like you took a shower every single day when you've used this. And so I also love the fact that I don't feel like my pores are clogged or that it's just, you know, sitting on top of my skin. It really works with my pH and I really am in love. They have this in a million different scents. Um, I did pick up toasted coconut 
which this smells really, really good. And um, it's, it's not expensive and you can get this at Target. Um, initially when I was buying this, I could not get this from Target. I used to have to get it from online on their website, but they have Branch Out Girl. So you can go right to your local Target. Not sure about Walmart, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, Amazon also sells this and you can get this. So definitely highly approved um, loom. So now we're going into the underarm area. So I am a heavy sweater. So you can trust and believe the recommendations that I'm giving you guys for when it comes to under them arms, I'm gonna give you the best tips, okay? So what I like to do, and this is something new, is the first thing that I'm going to do is use a bar soap under my arm. So I go all over my body first with a bar soap. And right now I'm loving Dove's Shea Butter and Vanilla Scent. And then I'm gonna take the bar soap and I'm gonna like lather it up good and really wash up under my arms. What this is doing is this is getting all the deodorant build up, the initial deodorant build up off all the odor. It's gonna really get that first base off. So I like to do that first. And I don't have it here currently, but I have like a um, exfoliating little sponge and then I'll use that as well with the bar soap to really like get off that first layer of deodorant and odor. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my body wash. So whatever body wash I'm using all over my body, then I'm gonna go in a second time and wash under my arms and make sure that I'm trying to get as much deodorant film off as possible. Thirdly, I'm going to use a underarm detox. Now, I told you guys before that I am not 100% sure that this is really effective as far as getting deep into your underarm pores and removing all of the deodorant build up, but it feels amazing. My arms feel, they not only, I'm facing the window, y'all, so I'm watching all the bees swarm under my porch. <laughs> swarm, I'm so country. <laughs> But anyway, um, I don't know if this really, really works as far as getting the buildup from under your arms, but what I do know is it feels great. My underarms smell amazing after I use this for several hour, hours into the next day, and I really like the cooling effect on this. So there's a million different um, underarm detox. I have this linked in my Amazon store, which I always have down in the, comp in the um, description box but I feel like this is great to use, especially during the summer because, you know, we're sweating up under our arms, we're putting on lots of deodorant, and I just feel like it's a great detox to reset under your arms. So after all that is done, then I'm going in, once I get out the shower with my favorite Dove um, deodorant spray, which is the Advanced Care Cool Essentials. I only get this one. There's probably a million other scents that smell amazing, but I always go back to this one. It just has a fresh cucumber smell, and I'm really particular about my deodorants because I don't like overpowering scents that are going to clash with my um, body mist and my perfumes. So I really try to go for a light scented deodorant, but I did see on a commercial, and I'm super excited so you guys know, a Target shopping haul is coming soon. I've noticed that Dove has some new um, 72 hour deodorant sprays where this one is 48 hours. So I'm like, yeah, that's perfect for the summer. But either way, if you get the 72 hour one or this one, really will recommend this because one thing that you want to look for in your deodorants, you need to make sure that they're antiperspirant not just a deodorant that works just for odor. Yeah, antiperspirant deodorants are going to curb the sweat, so definitely look for that during the summertime. Now we're gonna get into hair. So in the summertime, we're outside, we're vibing, you're gonna be sweating. I mean, that's just apparent. I have some little things that I like to do to make sure that my hair is smelling good in between me washing my hair. And like I told you guys several times, hair perfume is going to be your friend. Now they're making hair perfume suitable where they are going to work with your hair and they have good ingredients, not alcohol. Some hair perfumes still have alcohol, so really check the ingredients, but they have a lot of hair perfumes that don't have alcohol that are going to be suitable for your hair. So I always show you guys the same two hair perfumes because it's taken me forever to get through them. 
but the first one is by Gisu, I believe, and it's their honey infused hair perfume. And I really like this one because it has honey and other great ingredients for your hair. And I'm just gonna spray some in now because this stuff just smells so lovely. And then of course, if you just got a little coin, a little extra money in your pocket, I would highly recommend Byretto's Baldia Freak or any of Byretto's other scented hair perfumes. This one was 80 bucks, but it just, this Ball D Afrique, if you smelled this scent before, you know it's A1 and I love it. But this is another good hair perfume. So like when you're out on the yacht this summer or you just chilling at the beach and you wanna refresh, I don't even just put this in my hair. I'll put this all over my body, okay? Because this just smells great and you're gonna smell good. You're gonna walk past people and they're gonna get slapped with not only the perfume that you put on your body, but also in your hair, and you won't feel insecure if you're sweating and stuff. You, you sweating maybe, but you smelling good, okay? Um, also with hair products, I actually just bought basically the whole line from Sephora, and it's by Pattern, which is by Tracy Ellis Ross, and I have always been a fan of her hair. I've always been a fan of her because I don't think I've probably ever seen her real hair I think I have seen her real hair straightened, but she is one of them girls that is ride or die for her natural hair. So I was really interested in buying her products and I have I just used them for the first time and I'm literally in love. Um, this morning when I first got up, I'm like, I don't know about this because I didn't think the curl, the curl gel really defined my curls, but after puffing it, putting a little oil, I'm impressed. So. Besides the fact that I love the effectiveness of her products, I'm really feeling the scent of these products. Like my hair smells amazing. Like as soon as I um, used the deep conditioner, I was in love and I noticed that her hair products, the scent sticks. You know, sometimes products smell good, but once you rinse out the conditioner or whatever, it's like you can't smell it anymore in your hair, no. Her products smell amazing. Your hair is gonna smell great, so if you're not really interested in buying a hair perfume, really invest in products that are not only that not only are effective, but that smell great, so that you can just have that natural, perfumey smell in your hair. Because I'm telling you guys, hair smells. You can smell them. Other people can smell them. I have definitely been around people who you could tell. You could smell the dirtiness or just the scents that were not great in their hair because they were not keeping up with their hair care and their hair hygiene. And I will say that especially in the summer when you're sweating and stuff, really keep that in mind that your scalp is part of your skin too. And I know sometimes we may forget that. So I'm like washing my hair more often, sometimes twice a week and definitely once a week, I'm making sure that I wash my hair because your scalp is, has to be taken care of as well as like the rest of the skin on your body. And our hair holds a lot of odor and build up. When people get close up on you, they're gonna smell your hair. So I definitely keep that in mind that when it comes to the summertime to make sure that I'm keeping up with my hair hygiene. Okay, so another one that's just apparent and this has to do with our intimate care and odor down there is make sure you are drinking water and I'm talking to myself. <laughs> water is so important, especially if you're like me where you're eating a lot of meat. I am a carnivore to my heart. I've tried to do the whole, let's do a meatless night um, once a week and it's just super hard. So with eating meat and stuff, that does affect your intimate area odor. And when you're sweating and your diet is not as good as it should be, you're gonna have odor down there. So a way that I combat that is I just double up, triple up on the water intake. And I have some water here, y'all. And I'm just trying to make sure that I'm constantly drinking water so that I can remove all the toxins. <laughs> I can remove all of the toxins out of my body. Another little trick that I just learned that is actually an internal odor combatter is to use chlorophyll in your water. Whatever you're drinking, you can put these chlorophyll drops. But I just think it's weird to put it in your coffee and other drinks because it's gonna turn it like a dark green. So I just put it inside of my water. This one, they put peppermint essential oil 
which I really, really like because it gives the water a peppermint taste because I will warn you, chlorophyll has a very earthy taste to it. So you may be like, uh, if you've never had it and you're not acclimated to the taste. But let me tell y'all, I made sure that I did my research and I did notice a difference in my body odor when I was heavily doing this, but your sweat is going to smell like nothing. When you pee, that's gonna smell like nothing. And I did my research, y'all. I went on NIH, and if y'all know, that's the National Institute of Health. I used to work there, okay? <laughs> but anyway, they did research on men that were diabetic because if you know, sometimes diabetics do have a strong um, urine odor. I mean, they have a strong odor to their urine. So they did the research and they noticed that there was a difference in the men's urine odor taking chlorophyll, y'all, and I knew it because I'm like, I'm not really having this like a urine scent when I um, pee, maybe TMI, but it's the truth. And so like you may be on a little sexy vacation and you know, you don't wanna have an odor you leaving and your boo coming in right after you from the bathroom, but water will also fix that. But as far as sweating and stuff, this is an internal deodorant, y'all. So make sure that you get yourself some chlorophyll. And if the chlorophyll doesn't have peppermint in it, I'll see if I can find you guys one on Amazon, but you can get some peppermint essential oil that's okay for intake internal intake and just drop it in your water you guys i have mine right here and i love it my problem is i'm not consistent with things like i just get into my routine where i just think about starbucks and i want starbucks and all the healthy stuff goes out the window but i know i am a sweater and i gotta be on top of my game okay so another tip that i have for you guys that you guys may already know about but make sure that you guys are pulling out those cotton underwear this summer. These are my little granny panties, okay? Yeah, he he ha ha. Your girl loves her granny panties. I used to be back in my early 20s wearing the thongs and stuff, but I got cheeks, okay? I got, I got gains back there and I can't be wearing thongs because they get lost. <laughs> Unless I'm wearing like a dress or something where I have no choice. But for the most part, you're gonna catch your girl out in underwear like these and they're always cotton whether they're these or a thong make sure that you guys are wearing cotton underwear during the summer because when you are sweating down there and you're wearing polyester and silk underwear your underwear can't absorb the sweat so what is it going to do sit there grow bacteria now you got bv you got yeast infections and all that crap that we cannot stand because you chose to wear silk and polyester trying to be cute. I know it's hard, you wanna be cute for your man or just for yourself, okay? But make sure that instead, cause there are plenty of cute underwear that are 100% cotton, make sure that you grab those because your area down there is going to respect you for that. <laughs> now, let's talk about the feet. So like I said, y'all, I am a sweater. So if I'm in sandals, whatever I'm in and it's hot, my feet are going to sweat. And I have to make sure when I get in that shower, I give my feet that extra tender love and care. So what I'm using currently is just this exfoliating towel that's specifically for my feet. I don't like to use my body exfoliating sponges and stuff for my body and my feet. That's just me. So this is specifically for my feet and I'm just gonna lather this up and make sure that I clean in between my toes under my feet, especially when you're wearing sandals and stuff and your feet are closer to the ground, you have open shoes on, what's happening? All the dust and dirt is on your feet and now it's stuck on your feet and you gotta get it off some way. So, so make sure that you just take care of your feet and you're giving it just a little extra tender loving care when we wear these open toe sandals and wash them thoroughly. Okay, and the last tip that I have for you guys to just smell great and feel confident this summer is make sure that you are layering your perfume. So an easy way that I layer my perfume is I take one of my favorite body creams where the scent is, you know, you like the scent, but the scent is not too loud because we're gonna use this for layering. So right now I'm using the L'Occitane um, Milk Concentrate, and this is a smoothing and beautifying body cream. 
and I literally just take this body cream and I'm gonna rub it all over my body um, and then I'm going to go in with the body mist so I definitely have a combo for you guys right now and it is the Win in Rio the Sol de Janeiro Win in Rio body um, mist and the um, Prada Paradox these two together these work wonderfully I don't know if they have similar notes if they do I will definitely let you guys know here on the screen what the similar notes are between the two but these work well together but if you guys have combos it is a great time to try those combos during the summer because when you layer your perfume with a body cream first you can even use like a Vaseline body stick that's gonna make your perfume your body mist last longer all over your body when you do it that way rather than when you just put on your perfume on dry skin you're probably going to get maybe like an hour of this um, perfume actually staying on your body. So definitely make sure that you guys are layering up this summer on your body scents. And right now, like I said, I'm loving the Sol de Janeiro with in Rio with the Prada Paradox. This is a match made in heaven. I'm just going to spray the Wind in Rio a little bit more because you guys... I really, really love this one. At first, when I smelled it, I was like, I don't know, but this has become my favorite up there with, with um, real radiance for sure. <laughs> anyway, you guys, those are my tips. Like I said, I didn't want to overwhelm you. I just wanted to bring you some of the most important feminine hygiene tips that I have that I'm doing currently right now for the hotter months that we have coming our way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's chit chat in the comments. Let me know some of your tips and tricks to keep yourself nice and fresh and smelling good during the summertime. And I just wanna say what's up to all my new subscribers. Welcome, I love all of you guys, my OGs, my newbies. Welcome to the BJD Gang Gang. And I hope you guys are doing well. I love you guys and I will see y'all of course in the next video. Peace.